Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and today somebody sent me this file, and he uh, imported it in from a CAD program, and he's having trouble with the shape tool, or actually with the smoothing tool, and right away I noticed a couple of things. It's a group, just this one blade is a group of 118 objects. So, go up to Object, Group, and ungroup them, and then if you click on a line, they're individual little bitty short pieces of the line. And that isn't going to really work with the shape tool. You could, uh, let's just grab this, um, excuse me, the smoothing tool. It just doesn't really work because it doesn't have anything to go off of. So my suggestion would be to take your smart fill tool and fill that in. Grab your pick tool and take that away and then left click no fill right click hairline now it's all one object and you can get your smoothing tool you have to click on it on those arrows and now you can actually see the smoothing tool work let me zoom in here a little bit so you can get a better view and i honestly don't know what the knives are supposed to look like when they're done so you'd have to really kind of play with this but see how much smoother it is already now, it doesn't have much of a tip on it, but that could be corrected. So, you need to ungroup it, and you need to um, uh, use the Smart Field tool. Or the Weld tool would work, but I, I get accustomed to using the Smart Field tool. Now, he also said these corners need to be squared off. So, let's do the same thing here. Let's grab our Smart Field tool and fill it in. Move it out of the way, left click, right click. Let's get it where we can see a little bit better. Put it over here, let's zoom in. Now we'll get our shape tool and see all these nodes. And I don't know exactly where the corner's supposed to be, but we're gonna take this node right here and bring it down about right there. Then we're going to delete these inner nodes we do not need. Now we're going to take these three nodes and right click and make it into a line. Don't worry about it that it's not aligned right now. Let's do the same thing to the top. Just grab one of these nodes and just kind of come up to about where you think it ought to be. Delete all those nodes. Grab these last three nodes and hit right click or, and then hit line. Now, these aren't aligned together, so let's zoom in here a little bit. You don't really need these interior nodes, so grab your shape, your shape tool and just delete these interior nodes. Then to make sure these are perpendicular, which they're not, because you can bring in an indexing line, and you see there's still a little bit of a bow there. Let's try it one more time with them. Grabbing it and going with the line tool. That brought it in, but it's not aligned with these other ones. I would maybe delete this, and of course, I don't know what it's supposed to look like. Then you can kind of see how this one's going uphill. Well, if you will click on Let's look at the nodes. Click on this one first. Hold down your shift key and click the second then one. Go up here to align nodes and align vertically. And evidently I didn't have that one converted to a line. But now, and we could actually delete that second node. So now you've kind of got sharp corners. We're a little bit, you know, downhill too. So let's select that. Tell you what, let's just delete that node. We don't need it. Let's select that one first, and then that one. Right-click your mouse. No, nope. take it back. Go up here. Select. You can't just select them. you got to select and shift so it knows which order to go. You can go up here to align with nodes, align vertically, and it brought it down to that node. Now there's a little bit of a hiccup here. 
because there's an extra node. We just click on that node and hit delete. So now he's got uh, smoother or corners. I don't know how big this has to be, so I'm not going to go any further. But then you just grab your smoothing tool. And I've got mine set real high on 100. Uh, you might not want to set it on 100 because that's the pin pressure on how quick it's going to react. But that is pretty easy. So something like this, you'd want to maybe lower it, lower the slide bar to about 50, and maybe even make your, your circle less. And then you've got to click back on your item, and then real gradually take out that curve. I don't know what it's going to look like, so I'm not going to go any further. But that's how to use the, the, the smoothing tool on something that will not smooth. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.